Hi everyone and welcome to the first in a series of development videos. Just a quick preview of the MDT in this one. Um, I'm going to be doing these at regular intervals so you can see the progress. Um, so this first one is just showing uh, where we are now and what else there is left to do. Um, but first, uh, sincere apologies to everyone who's waiting for the MDT. I know it's taken a lot longer than uh, you're expecting. It's taken a lot longer than I was expecting as well. Um, what you'll see in this video is what you can see in the, the user interface within the game. Um, there's been a lot of work gone on in the background that isn't visible at all in the user interface. It's sort of like the infrastructure that allows the CAD to talk to the MDT and, and, and backwards and forwards and all that kind of stuff. So everything's built on top of that, really. So what you're going to see today is the UI aspects of that within the game. Uh, so if we go into the CAD first, um, we can see this is my dispatcher screen um, and I've got a few calls. And I've got a few units. Uh, so if we just look at the the calls first, we can see we've got various different um, incidents, various different uh, bits of information, assignments, call assi unit assignments. There's various ones there. Um, so there's a range of different things going on there. And we've got a range of units as well um, with a range of different statuses. Um, and some of them are assigned to some calls, some are assigned to others and so on and so forth. That Zulu mic one uh, we could probably do with making active because that's assigned to quite a lot. So uh, let's just switch that one to inactive, why not? Um, so that's what we've got in the uh, dispatch screen. If we go over now to the offices, you can see I've defined quite a few offices. Um, and Dave Peterson there is my, uh, he's my active one. Go over to the citizens, I've defined a few citizens. Um, so we've got uh, two um, who are related there with the surname of Robbins. Uh, so if we search for them in the MD, in the in, in CAD MDT, we can see that Dave is a bit of a bad boy. Um, he's got quite a few um, offences recorded there and dodgy weapons and all the rest of it. Mary, on the other hand, she's much better. She's got a fairly clean record apart from a speeding offence a while ago. So that's those are the people we're going to be searching for in game so what we're going to do now is go over to it in game uh, fire up the mdt and see how that information is displayed in the mdt so here we are so what you're about to see is obviously very unfinished so just ignore the rough edges there'll be buttons that don't do anything uh, there'll be bits of text that are placeholders for other things so just ignore all that stuff what we're focusing on today is what's working so to get into the MDT, uh, you do slash MDT, and then we're taken into the front page, which is blank at the moment, but won't be ultimately. Um, so you can see immediately we've got our current active officer there, um, and we've also got a connected to control thing down here. And this little green light will flash when we're receiving data from the from the CAD. Um, so if we go into the status first. Um, so we can see here the units that we were looking at in the dispatcher screen. Um, you get their status in the appropriate color. You also get the text indicating the status. Um, and you get the calls as well with the, the details of each call. Um, the status button doesn't do anything at the minute, but that will be a, a way of easily changing the unit status from within the MDT. Um, and the leave button also doesn't work at the minute, but that will be either join or leave, depending on whether you're currently a member of that unit. Uh, so it'll make it very easy to sort of join and leave units as, as you wish. Um, so that's the unit status screen. If we go on to uh, citizen search. So if we search for those citizens that we were looking at uh, in the CAD, so that was Robbins. Uh, searching the CAD comes back with the information. There we are. So what we can see is the name um, we've got a markers here because part of this development is to add citizen markers so you can create um, multiple markers for a citizen and they'll be indicated here so it's very easy to see if a given citizen has markers associated with them um, this red indicator over here is like a general attention it's basically saying that this citizen has something about them that you want to be looking at in this case it's because dave has a warrant so which we can see if we expand we can see all his information there uh, vehicles weapons licenses uh, warrant and uh, his offenses as well 
so you see it's all very easy to to access and and to see um so if we also look at mary much less to see with her but yeah again very clear and easy to see um so that's basically where the cad is at this moment um in terms of moving forward i'm basically just working through the menus so um search citizens vehicles incidents and so on um and then moving on to create then messaging which is actually quite a big chunk of work because currently cadvanced has no support for for messaging at all so sending messages to other officers or to control or or whatever so that's that's like a self-contained bit of work that needs to be done and notes is just the ability for the officer to to make and refer to notes and of course the panic button um which has been asked for a great deal and uh, will be integrated into the mdt so that's where the mdt currently is um, i mean there's been a lot of work as i say in the background that you can't see here but has enabled the, all this to work and will continue to enable the further bits of work to, to happen so um, the work I'm doing now is, is much more visible because I'm working on the user interface and so on. So um, I'm hoping to post these videos quite regularly just to show all oh, this new bit of functionality has been added. Um, but that's it for the moment. So thanks very much for watching.